Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. This is Pope TV. And please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. I'm Sam Fleming. And I'm Suja Nolte. And, and this, this is Pope TV. Congratulations to senior Grace Armour, our student of the week. Grace was nominated by Miss Williams, who praised her love for learning and improving and described her as a great leader in the classroom. Way to go, Grace. The PTSA is hosting a seminar. An attorney from the Georgia State Bar will be coming to Pope on January 23rd at 7 p.m. to discuss delinquent behaviors and the 10 deadly sins. Did you know that if you're between the ages of 13 and 18, you will be prosecuted as an adult for certain offenses? The PTSA invites all students and their parents to come and learn the differences between these offenses and the consequences of each. Check out the PTSA's Instagram page, website, or Hound Highlands to get more details. Also, there is a permission slip parents will have to sign for students to attend since this covers sensitive material. Come to the pack on January 23rd at 7 p.m. to educate yourself and protect your future. On this day in history, Janis Joplin was born in Port Arthur, Texas. Janis Joplin was a famous singer and well-known rock performer in the 1960s. She was known for her electric stage presence and powerful vocals. Janis Joplin was the lead singer of the band Big Brother and the Holding Company. She released two albums with the band and then left to continue as a solo artist, releasing two more albums. One of her most popular songs was Mercedes-Benz. She died at the age of 27 in 1970, and in 1995, she was inducted into the Rock Hall of Fame. On this day in history, the infamous Dolly Parton was born in 1946. Dolly later grew up to be a talented guitarist and an icon in American country music, despite being born into a poor family with 12 kids. Not only was she an extremely talented actress and singer, but also has set up the Dollywood Foundation that later on created Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, a program for donating books. She has 11 Grammys and a total of 39 awards won in her career. Let's go see the weather report. What's up weather fans? It's ACM back with the weather for the week. Okay, right here you see this? Starting off a little chilly, you might want to bundle up a little bit, but as we go, it gets warmer and warmer, so feel free to take off your coats, your jackets, you know, have some fun in the sun, but it's not even going to be sunny. As you can see, it's raining here too, so we've got that going on, but at least it's getting warm, so that's the weather for the week. ACM, back to the studio. Thank you. And now for the sports. This is Josh and Sam in the morning. And, and now the sports. sports. Greyhounds, good luck to our winter sports athletes competing tonight and tomorrow. And good luck to all the spring sports athletes trying out and training for their up and coming seasons. The basketball teams are rolling with victories to the last part of the regular season. Let's check in with Kaysen for the latest highlights from the court. What's going on Greyhounds? This is Kaysen with the Hoops Report. Last Friday, the Hounds played BT. The guys won 55 to 39. Zach Lashoy led with 26 points. The girls won 49-28, and Abby Benzman led with 12 points. On Wednesday, the girls beat Sprayberry 47-42 in overtime to advance to 14-6 overall and 6-1 and in the region. The guys are 16-4 overall and 6-1 and in the region. The Hounds play Alpharetta tonight. The girls play at 6 and the guys at 7.30. It's a home game, so everyone pull up to support your Hounds. That's it for me. Back to the studio. Great work, Kaysen. Congratulations to the wrestling teams. Last weekend was a big success. Let's go to the mat and get the highlights from Griffin. What's the word, Griff? What's up, Greyhounds? This is Griffin with your wrestling report. Congratulations to the wrestlers. The girls wrestling team won their first ever, ever dual meet at the region tournament last week at Campbell. And the boys wrestling team stepped up their game. The guys beat Johns Creek in the championship 40-35 to and won the region duels title on Saturday. The guys are competing today and tomorrow at North Forsyth High School in the Team State Duels. Good luck, men. Attack and win, guys. That's it for me. Back to the studio. Awesome work, Griffin. Let's bring home a winner this weekend. Congratulations to the swim and dive teams. Both the boys and girls teams won the region championships last weekend. The teams are competing today at Mountain View in the Cobb County Championships. Good luck, swimmers. Swim fast and dive straight. 
That's it for the sports. Back, Back to you guys. guys. Yo. That's light. Thank you guys. Students, make sure your name is written on all your personal items, including water bottles. The lost and found located in the cafeteria is loaded with all kinds of awesome items that students leave behind throughout the school. Check out the items to see if you have lost something. If your name is on an item, it can be delivered to your class. Now let's see what a real Greyhound looks like. It's time for Snout of the Week. This is Nathan with your Snout of the Week. Now before we show the picture, please resist the temptation because this one is one real hot dog. Now, you'll never catch up to his legendary status. And so please relish the time you have with him and muster up the courage to become a better person. That's all for me. Back to you guys. Thank you, Nathan. It's time for GNN Viewers of the Week. Now time for the GNN First Period Viewers of the Week. Congratulations, Coach Clemens. Your class is GNN Viewers of the Week. Hold this on your chin. Um, thank you, GNNN. Uh, we're all very thankful. And we won, baby! We won! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I always look forward to this every day. Did you know the Greyhound News Network is always online for your viewing at www.greyhoundnews.net? Log in from your phone or at home 24 7. We, we are, are the GNN. GNN. Thank you for watching the Greyhound News Network. Have, Have a great, great day, day Greyhounds. Greyhounds.